Hi everybody, Spurgle here. Welcome to my Beginner Basics Modding Daisy Tutorials. Episode 2. Simple Test Server Setup. So to start, let's navigate to our Steam library and install Daisy Server. Once installed, navigate to where Steam installs your games. And open up Daisy Server. Then open MP Missions, copy your default mission, paste it back in, and then rename it. I'll go with Test Server. Now go back to the main server file and edit server dz.cfg. I use Notepad++, but any text editor will do. Change your server name. Set verify signatures to zero, as this is just a local test server for yourself, and it will save you having to sign your mod while still developing it. Other than that, the only thing left to do in here is change your mission. We called ours test server. Click file, save as and give it a new name. We'll also need a start.bat file. I'll have an example linked in the description below. Download it and put it in your daisy server folder. Edit it in Notepad++. You'll want to change config to match the .cfg you just saved. I'll leave this here for now because we also need to install a few mods. First you'll want community framework and you'll also want some sort of admin tool. My preference is Zomberry as a simple setup instruction on its Steam page. To install any mod on your test server simply subscribe to it on Steam and launch DayZ. Once installed, navigate to where Steam downloaded it to. Find the mod folder. This can be found by matching this number in its ID with that number on the folder. Copy the mod folder into your DayZ server directory. Put this number in your daisy server start.bat. To run multiple mods, separate them by a semicolon and paste their number in there as well. Then save your start.bat. I like to create a shortcut to the start.bat and put it on my desktop. Assign it a new icon. Double click your test server shortcut to launch a server for the first time. You can see a server profiles folder has now been created. Now you want to finish setting up your admin tool following the instructions on its Steam workshop page. For me, let's navigate to server profiles, Zomberry, and paste in the admin.cfg. Once done, you can relaunch your server. Go 
back to your DAISY, click on the Servers and LAN tab and refresh. Now you should see your server has appeared. Click Join and wait for DAISY to start. And here we have it, we are on our local test server with an admin tool ready for testing our mods as we develop them. Next time I'll run through setting up and making a basic config edit of a vanilla item. Thanks for watching, hope to see you next time.